Hello, welcome back to 18 Volt Century on uh, my YouTube video channel. You can see on part one, it says how to create a perfect car audio repairs part one. So this is be part two. And I, I already set the power 12 volt MOSFETs wheels. Right, we have the six of them, and then that, and then I, I changed. I can show you. Those are MOSFETs, the six of them. Initiated big rectifier. Right, and those five positive, five negative, fourteen negative, fourteen positive. And you can remember watching that ad now, part one video. I replace those three caps one with 100 megahertz. Then I put 100 megahertz, 35 volts. Then I replace 47 megahertz, 63 volts. This one here. And lastly, not least. In 100 megahertz, at this will be 16 volts. I ran out of 35 volts, right? And the power is turned on. Um, just I didn't have it on. Do it again. All right. So I'm gonna just drop it for a while and work hundred percent no issue with it. Mm, so and this is there's an eight of the higher Nelix forty. You get it. Higher six forty. So the only four 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 in this end and then four in this way. So eight uh, MOSFETs to create a 250 volts AC in those caps. Right. This is what allows to to produce a audio base or a play vocal so you guys know what you know what i mean slave vocal okay slave vocal is come is from your input of the amp there's your we'll say i just got up down to bear mind that's master slash clay then you have a switch right master and slave so if you press so if you press on master so i got a master so master allow you to play only bass parts on your subwoofer so like this again when you press the switch into master Learn to produce on a base only. In that, it's going to show you input of levels, subsonic, bass boost, with low pass filter, and the phase 180 degrees on master. Coming to slave, slave switch, right? Whatever doesn't give you any of the input, you select. You can just check in, and none of this control would work on the slave. So, guys, so using a slave switch into this input or reverse way using that input on your any of block amps by using a slave switch function, what it does is cut off all your base tones, hertz, and give you 
a high focal photo while you're taking in a sight. And the funny speakers would automatically play a very hard, high, high, very high frequency hertz that you hear vocal, the trebles, tones, and no bass tone ever you may get if you select this clay. That's what clay a master will do. As you can see, the in and out. Right. Uh, I think the watts and fire max uh, amps uh, coming dead is if you got this kind of amp, don't have any, have any of a crossover. So use this amp as a crossover. Hmm, why did I start it? I don't know why you got this master slave because if you hit that master slave button, you can have to play your bass and hear the high vocals. I don't know why they, they did this turnover to be, but I would say do not use your slave switch or input bit. Just go back and select from slave, slave to master. So master switch select and do not use this input out, it doesn't work. And let's select the master, select the master function switch, and that's where you have your input. The other input. So I'm gonna tell you something. It's doesn't matter whose input or output you're using, right? If, you, if I'm using output, inject audio sound into it, this block amp, it will get your audio base feeling from your all the way to your filtering, converting to your DC to AC volts, and fire going to straight to your speakers. So it doesn't matter if you make a mistake using the output instead of input. So it doesn't matter if you made a mistake using the output instead of using the input jack. Um your eyes use uh, input and my one of my viewers asked me what happens if you use a output when you have a faulty jack for input breaks. I don't know, it all works as long as you're feeling a correct cables doesn't break your slag or slag A L A G G E D slaggy. So it must be any work because doesn't damage your parts again. So when you break your, your input parts, it will damage your double layers track on control on your uh, amp board on top level and underneath the board. Make sure you do, if it happens to you guys, make sure that you clean the part, remove the, the input jack out. From the work properly by repairing the broken piece track pod pad pod track pad sorry for that <laughs> so track pad is called it right so do the perfect lining up when you're mounting your new input jack plug and from there you can work yourself out and just before you powering your, your power lines, make sure you've been connected in this zone work real. And so I'm going to show you on part, there's a part you guys, there's a part you.
So many of you guys asked, left my left inbox to me said, okay, fair enough, you don't have no meters. Okay, they have a meter. Yes, I didn't. So the meter in part one, to how to test once your amp is replaced, all new parts, new filter caps, and new power inverters for your base parts. So I only got my pass fly running. That's why pass fly running. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm, I got a um, fly call. So I'm going to power up the unit. And what I'm going to show you guys is I'd be pointing this really switch, right? Let's take a note. 30 amp uh, to add 2 volts. And it got another voltage, it's 80, rating at 277 volt AC at 40 amps. Okay. There's only one radius on this amp because nothing around bottom middle nothing not top so here it goes that's yeah that's nice there you go yeah that's the click nice let me switch it off. That's off. No, it doesn't listen to it properly. Very up closely. The mouse is switched off. In a second, we are fixed. You got did that, you hear that? Now I disconnect the remote switch. So you are very quick. So that says the amp fly is now on standby, ready to power up your speakers. And I'm going to measure the voltage. Give me a few seconds and to plug and play. So the amp is ready to play. So again, so you have, I might just uh, so so I'll be working on the MOSFETs. So the MOSFET will should have should have that is the starting point voltage. That's right voltage. That is right correct voltage. Red voltage. The correct voltage. Correct, correct, correctly voltage. Good volt, good, correct voltage. Correct voltage. Correct voltage. Correct voltage. So I'll move the last six volt MOSFET, the last six MOSFETs, the good voltage, the sweet voltage. So I just measure all six voltage. 
on a meter, you see in a meter, the JM gates are open per 100%. At the first prescriber, that's an anecdote box, charge of voltage next to our prescriber. Correct voltage. So that's why the two which expire. And I'll be moving on the cap. So this cap has voltage. Uh, can get to the to the, the second cap. Just to point you that you need a third up voltage. Where do I use the ground and cap? Black box present. That was measuring. So the first cap is this measure, the second one. So I don't get to the pin. Uh, it should be give you 16 or 12 volts, but I can still be 10 because I remove on the cap uh, metal head of it. So there's a third one. <laughs> yeah, that's sitting next on the head of it. Focus. Um, that's sorry. How'd you get the So this is five volts. That cap is reading five volts. So there's five volt layouts. So there's five volt layouts. So you guys seem to be wondering what is happening on the, the input jack. Input jack. There's a secret on it, so you can give you guys a quick full zoom in. So I will point to let you guys a secret what is this and why I, I invent inventing this kind of way for input for input jack only because <clears throat> since it is a monoblock M so that clue is called monoblock clue and that's why I did this this any of the uh, YouTube reviews or subscribers will figure out and leave the input for me and I will get back to you guys shortly after I want to get those questions I will answer back to you guys
Lovely. Um, Lamp to lock through system. You can see that power green light very really dumb. Pick it up after lights, I got I'm gonna try. So we have us okay. So we we power players, power bulbs, players, smart box is on on the meter, push wire, lock in one percent, caps on here. Lock in two key and I spoke about the input jack. Uh, special um, component in down there. So now we'll be working on the 9640 and 640 MOSFETs. <coughs> there will be the high voltage. That is most fits. So the first one good. Second most. I believe that is nice ninety six forty first four and the third of the fifth. Okay, what I'll do, so what I will do to show you guys exactly, exactly, excuse me, exactly which step one most of it is, so there you go. And that's number all four, so on the screen, from right to left, from left to right. And be moving on the last four of pets. Give some time for you guys to look at it. Okay, now it will be much better because that's zoomed in the, in the camera lens. Zoom out a bit, right? So the first nine six forty, the four of it, I think that. Then the next one will be six forty up middle to downwards. So let's get us get us out to start again. And six out of 640, which you make the MOSFET that you have your uh, make the ports coming up.
ich habe die Zeit mal Zeit. Ist auch sehr gut, wie gesagt. Gehen wir in das Reading. Personal Login. Ne? Okay. Uh, I don't see anything wrong with them or that mosfet. Mm, so move on what and let's delete text. Go back to third and what? So read good. So I'm happy, glad, and turn out to be. 100% successful with how to create your a perfect audio repair on part one zero three the part two to show you guys how to check without using a any source of input or and is figure out via a clear audio sound evenly without a meter without a meter without a uh, what do you call it um also what do you call it uh, also scope meter yeah also scope meter that allows you to see how can frequency frequency it goes on the on the amp down low the very amp what it plays or oh, where I'm plays or oh, have any issue like breakdown in this case I'm using two drum rig group meter the old school meter by the way because you can't do anymore so they're using old session school meters using session meter session reading those meters um and secondly I'm sorry I got this uh, a right this baby yeah this guy so this guy allows you to demonstrate if the amp works 100 percent or not if you have a death shot on your a MOSFETs you get your red uh, protection that come on that many K you Many, 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 many cases. If your mouse foot blows, you get your power LED turn red, blows red, same protect mode. You fix, you want to fix your mouse foot out until you have issue, then you have a promoter inverter. So, those two inverters. These are your two inverters ICs. Then you get your another hooker for the hooker cop coupler that would be around somewhere on the two inverter IC. Make sure you don't have drive voltage to your MOSFETs. Change your whole six or oh, six with yeah, six, change six or a tight ring for MOSFETs, change your MOSFET IC and the upper couple of copula. Sorry, guys, getting confusing the words, so they are that new in the channel. But bear in mind, I'm very good on the cardio, any repairs, and very tricky things that I can show you guys on the channel. Um, so that is basically what caused your protection light come on. Change your MOSFETs, change your input ICs, two ICs will be on front of your full range block lines, like in this case. And lastly, sorry, I don't even have any echo cup huh, around this MOSFET site. If you do, please make sure to change your thing. Right? Um, Always check your 
will they be applied. So what does it think does it offer is a dial. Although it has six MPS uh, six MPS dial, make sure that none are blown or open. If it does that, it will have your creature will not come on. So have that thing change at the same time as you working on it. I just couldn't disconnect my remote warrior. You can see it. The white out. So not along the amp, amp work 100%. So that's showing guys how to repair a perfect car audio on this video channel. So turn it back to check the mode. So once you have all the fixed up, power up, back on, or when you change your fuser to two or four or what, I mean, if you just had changed it, so you power to power up, put the remote switch on. It's all fine, the person like come on. So the problem would be on you. Now you know. I have nine six forty or six forty. Make sure you check the property millimeters. Right? So I might wear millimeters. I should just get